Okay, today we got a 99 Honda Civic and a um, AC bearing um, on the pulley went bad, seized up, ripped off the belt. Bought a new one, which is this guy here. Here's the clutch. Here's the uh, the pulley. The bearing inside comes with it, as well as the coil. Put it on there, and then uh, nothing happened. Tried moving some spaces around, nothing happened. Pulled some more spaces off nothing happened pulled so many spaces off that I ended up inevitably forcing the AC pump to turn over without being able to turn off which ended up spitting out um, the uh, Freon inside which is not a good thing at all so I had to turn that off so I wanted to figure out what was going on and uh, basically this is just another way to bench test your coil which is this guy here which fits on there and this pulley just fits uh, over top of it. Uh, so what I did on here is this is a magnetic surface here. This is basically all grounded and all this is is just a giant magnet. So if you stick that on there, it can easily pull it off. And what I did to see if the coil was actually working since I couldn't hear a clicking sound to see if the, the clutch would pull in to the pulley because it's, it's supposed to just pull into it to engage um, onto this surface here. Um, just got some cable here from like a lamp or something like that or out of the auto um, Home Depot or something connected it to the negative terminal and the positive terminal here using some electrical tape and then uh, you need to be very careful when doing this because I'm, I'm by no means an electrical engineer so this is a little unsafe just be careful a little warning um, so I stuck one of the ends of this um, copper wire underneath the positive terminal just to get it to force it to stick under there and then I took the other end and connected it to the negative end I never received a shock doesn't mean that you won't so just be careful again a little disclaimer um, I'm not going to be responsible for if you get shocked there's a high risk of shock here that didn't say that enough anyway once I connected that pull this up to see if it sticks it should be fairly hard to remove, and it was. It, it didn't come off very easily. Um, so if, if this comes up, then you know it's a bad coil. If it sticks while it's connected to the battery, then you know your coil's good. Mine's working, so that means I have a short somewhere in my system. So, awesome. Anyway, just another way to help figure out how to bench test your coil without removing the entire AC compressor. Um, that's about it. Thanks, guys.